Right, get a little lower. Slide your hip. No. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Hey, hey. There you go. Slide your hip. Don't turn your body. Slide your hip. Slide your hip. Shoot. All right. Go. Good job. First. Good, right. Here we go. One more. Go ahead with your group. Go. Hurry up. Go ahead with your group. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The 2023 Joe Moore Offensive Line Camp. James, you're in your 11th year. A testament to your dad's legacy. Is this the biggest camp so far? Yes, this is the biggest camp so far. We actually had a shutdown registration about two weeks ahead of time. A lot of people are figuring out it's great to bring your whole team in, your whole offensive line. Your offensive line's a unit. So you're trying to make sure you bring these five guys here and they get, they get to work out together and they become a team. Wow, absolutely amazing. Now, for you folks that don't know the legendary Joe Moore, well, it is testament. The players that he coached, NFL All-Pro guys here, Russ Grimm's here, Emil Boris, Hugh Green, the list of players that your dad coached and was around, it's a testament to his legacy that they come here annually. It's unbelievable what they do. We don't pay anybody to come here, come on their own time. It is kind of a reunion where guys get to come back, tell stories about how good they were, how crazy my dad was. But we have a lot of fun over the weekend. We uh, do a lot of, uh, we, we pay for their hotels and food and drink. So we have a party Friday night and Saturday night and we have a really good time. But I cannot believe how many people come back and honor my father the way, the way they do. You know, I always say we remember our bad coaches and we remember our great coaches. Your father's legacy I mean, as you well know, I was at Pitt. I knew your father was around him for years. I loved your dad because he was one of those good coaches. What do you think made your dad such a good coach? He said he never forgot what it was to be a kid. So, you know, if the kid's thirsty, he's not going to pay attention to you. So he gave him water. You know, he, he was there for the kids. That's why this, this camp is unbelievable because kids are getting repetition. They're getting better. He wasn't there about money. He wasn't there about trying to become a head coach. He had his 15, 20 guys offensive line. He just wanted to make them as best as he possibly could. He felt if the offensive line was good, the rest of the team would be good. And there's no doubt about that from an offensive point of view. When you look at the legendary Joe Moore's career, he put how many guys in the NFL? I think it was 53 guys over 17 years, so about three a year. Wow, which is absolutely amazing. And to me, what it came down to, Jim James, and you tell me, it was the technique that your dad coached. It was the technique that he created basically out of his mind to create that punch pass blocking technique. Yeah, so uh, his friend Bad Rad and him got together and they realized that you know, you keep your elbows in, keep your hands in, you punch block, become aggressive, you become fundamentally sound. And as my dad said, he can get anybody to go block somebody as long as he kept their hands inside. So um, he did it. He got, he got them to be better versions of themselves because he believed in them. He never asked them to do something they couldn't do, but he also got them to do things they didn't think they could do. Mm. So he, to me, one of his best things was he could get inside your head and make you do things that other people couldn't do. A lot of guys do, do X's and O's or fundamentals, but he did X's and O's, fundamentals, and he was also inside your head. Yeah, Coach Moore would get in your head, no doubt about it. I always said he was a combination of a drill sergeant and your favorite teacher combined, you know. <laughs> Coach Moore is attributed with one great quote. I can say it, but you say it. There's no better. There's no better feeling in the world than pushing a man from point A to point B against his will. And uh, <laughs> he did it to a lot of uh, a lot of guys, from the the best to the worst. He didn't care how good you were. He just wanted to make you a better person, a better player. You know, Joe Moore's coaching career at the University of Pittsburgh, he worked with people like James Sweeney, Jim Sweeney, who we lost last year, the great, well, the greatest offensive line player in college football history, Bill Fralick. And the amazing thing to me, James, is this. For one brief moment in history at the University of Pittsburgh, you had what is arguably the greatest offensive line player ever in college football, Bill Fralick, and without doubt, undisputed, the greatest offensive line coach in the history of college football, your dad. Yes. That's remarkable. Um, and if you ask my dad, he didn't make a lot of those guys. Those guys had natural ability. Yeah. And the final testament to Joe Moore's legacy, the NCAA, of course, gives the Heisman Trophy out, the Ray Guy punter trophy out. But your father, Joe Moore, now has his own award that's given to the best offensive line unit. Yes, it's, 
and what it is, and uh, Aaron Taylor started, he's done a hell of a job with it, and I, I can't thank him enough for everything he's done. Um, and it goes, it's the only one in the country that goes to a unit, not one person. The last time I checked, football was a team. Yeah. And I'm not saying anything bad about the Heisman or anything, but think about that. And the trophy's uh, so big, it's the biggest trophy, I think, in the Gettysburg World Records, so the whole line has to lift it. So it takes the whole team to lift it, and once again, if you have a great offensive line, you're going to win some games. All right, let's take a look at all the action here. It's a 2023 Joe Moore O-line camp. <laughs>